Today, I'm gonna show you how to make an aluminum spiral that is self-propelled, almost like a little turbine. It's really easy to make, and all you will need is materials that you can find around the house. So to make this little contraption, first you will need some kitchen foil. Go ahead and tear a piece of that off, that'll be the main component. Put the piece of aluminum paper flat on the table and straighten it out. Next you will need some scissors to cut a circle out of that piece of aluminum foil that you just ripped out. After your circle is done, you can go ahead and flatten it out some more, and then go ahead and start cutting that circle again. Staying about an inch out from the outsides, just keep going round and round until you get a spiral looking thing like this. Now that our aluminum spiral is ready, next you will need a shish kebab skewer, like that, and some kind of putty. I'm going to be using Play-Doh in my example. Take a piece of that Play-Doh and shape it into a cone-shaped or a pyramid-shaped structure that will be the base of the shish kebab skewer. And then go ahead and take that skewer and poke it right into the middle so it stands upright. Next, you want to take that aluminum spiral and place it over the shish kebab skewer and crimp the top of it just slightly. Now this is very important. If you crimp that too hard, then your little spiral will not spin. So crimp it just enough so that the spiral stays on the skewer. Now that your spiral is on the skewer, go ahead and cut off any of the extra spiral material so that the spiral is about two to three inches off the ground. And after you're done with that, the last thing you will need is just some small candles. Go ahead and put two candles on either side of the skewer and light them up. And magically the spiral starts to spin. The heat from the candles is causing the aluminum to spin like that, which looks pretty awesome. I tried adding a third candle and it seemed like it didn't do much difference. And with the fourth candle, I did notice that the spiral started going a little faster. And of course, if you blow the candles out, the spiral stops. Next, I thought it would be interesting to light the candles one at a time and see how it affects the spinning speed of that aluminum spiral. So that's the speed with one candle. There's two candles. Three candles. And four candles. Of course, with four candles, the aluminum spiral spins a lot faster than just with one or two. And of course, out of curiosity, I had to try six candles as well. To my surprise, the spiral actually stopped. But after a few seconds it did start back up and start spinning, although it was not spinning any faster than just with four candles. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this little experiment. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of it. Don't forget to mash that like button on the way out, and we'll see you next time.